Hi everyone, welcome to my channel lab to learn IT. In our last video, we logged on to uh, our vCenter server using Web GUI, created the data center and production and management clusters. However, if we look back at our plan, uh, if we look at back at our plan, uh, we have not yet configured the storage network. As per our plan, we are going to have two storage network, but uh, uh, these two storage network, though we have created the LAN segments for them, but we have not yet added or configured them on our PFSense firewall. This PFSense firewall, if you see, uh, so in order to add this so that the routing uh, can happen between the, these two networks, uh, the management and the storage networks, we need to configure the PFSense uh, firewall to have these two network adapters uh, for storage networks and then create rules so that the traffic can go from the management to the storage network. So in order to achieve that, we need to first log on to our uh, management, our PFSense firewall. Let me show you how you can log in. I'm closing it. So open your Edge browser, click on the shortcut uh, that you have created and then uh, log in with your admin and password account. Once you log in, uh, if you go to the interfaces, you can see that we only have two interfaces. One is our uh, WAN interface and the other one is our management interface. There is no interface or no network adapter added for the two storage network that we plan to add. So in order to add those two network adapter, uh, first we need to shut down the firewall. So I'm uh, going to diagnostics and click on hall system. Once I click on hall system, I need to click on halt. So this will turn off our uh, PFSense virtual machine. Once the PFSense virtual machine goes down, as you can see, it is in process of going down right now. So we have to wait here for a moment, uh, for a minute. So once this goes down, you need to click on Edit Virtual Machine Machine Setting for the PFSense firewall that you created, and then you need to click on Add and select another network adapter. So once you click on a network adapter, you need to go to the LAN segments and select the first storage network that we created uh, during the creation of a LAN segment, and then you need to click on OK. Once again, uh, click on Edit Virtual Machine Setting and click on add and click on network adapter and then add the second storage network uh, adapter for 10.2.2.x network. So if we now check, we have one, uh, the bridge network, the management network, the first storage network with the subnet mask as 10.1.1x and the second uh, network adapter as 10.2.2.x. So once we are done with the uh, configuration of the VM, we can click on OK and start the PFSense virtual machine. Here we have to wait for the virtual machine to start. So I'm going to pause for a minute. So as you can see, our PFSense firewall has come back. So now we need to go back to our admin workstation, then network, click on refresh, log into our uh, PFSense firewall with the admin and user uh, admin username and password. And now if you go back to the assignment network adapter, we see there is one adapter visible uh, bit below the management network. So we need to click on add once we click on add and then we sh it shows us the second network adapter. We click on add there and then we click on save. So the opt one is the uh, network adapter that is uh, that belongs to the 10.1.1.x uh, uh, subnet ID. So I'm clicking on OK. I'm enabling this interface. I'm providing it the appropriate name. So it's strg storage. Let me give it the short name. So now click on IP configuration type as a static IPv4. Let's keep rest of the setting on default. Give it the uh, IP address 10.1.1. So I'm going to keep it as 254 to follow our uh, IP address scheme and I'm making it a 24 bit uh, uh, network. So once I click on this, 
I need to click on save and then I click on apply changes. Similarly, I need to follow the uh, same steps for the next adapter. So again, I need to go to interfaces, assignment, click on the opt to adapter, click on enable, provided an appropriate name, storage two, static IPV address configuration, IP address for this one is going to be 2.2, 2.2.254, and it's also going to be a 24-bit subnet mask. And click on save. So once we have uh, added the adapters, now we'll be configuring uh, their IP addressing. So as now we have configured our network adapters, now we need to go uh, ahead and uh, configure uh, some firewall rules for these network adapters uh, for this network so go to click on firewall click on rules once you click on rules go to the storage network one and you can see that there is no rule as of now on this particular network so we can go back to the management network click on the copy button once we click on copy we can now go back, select the interface of storage network, storage one, and then click on save. So what it does, it actually copies the uh, rule on from management network to the storage network, but make sure that you change the interface on which uh, this role is going to belong to. Once we have done that, we need to follow the same steps to copy the other rules, such as the ping rule. So I'm clicking on copy again, make sure you have the storage network one selected once you determine it you can go ahead and click on save so this one also copy to the storage network and uh, because we don't need the storage network to be on the internet i'm not going to copy this internet client rule i'm just going to copy the rule above which opens the uh, port for port 53 123 and 445 so i'm clicking copy again once i click on copy make the change uh, for the interface select the storage one interface and then click on save again so now we have copied these three rules on our storage network and after we have done that, we need to copy these rule from the storage network one to the storage network two. So I follow the same process. I click on copy. Once I click on copy, change the storage network to two, click on save. Again, go back to the storage network one to copy another rule, click on copy, change to storage network interface to storage two, and then click on save. Managing rules on uh, PFSense Firewall is pretty easy or pretty straightforward. All you need to do is to create the rule once and then you can copy if you require the same rules to be on the other, other networks. So I'm again clicking on copying on the standard port, uh, ports rule to the storage 2 network. Click on copy the storage 2 and then we uh, again click on save. So now that we have our storage network configured, we can now at attach a storage device to a storage network. And if you just want to verify if this storage net network is up and functional and the routing is happening on uh, through the PFSense firewall, you can open the command prompt and try to ping the default gateway for the storage network, which is as we um, configured 10.1.1.254. So you can see we get a ping response from there. And you can check the uh, default gateway for the second storage network by pinging uh, to its IP address. And you see that we get a response. So as per our configuration, uh, the two storage networks are up and ready to be used. And uh, we'll be attaching the uh, our storage device, a true NAS storage device on these storage networks. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, and if you think I'm providing value, Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, we meet in the next video. Thank you.